Hello everyone, after some compiling sessions I've been able to run SDR Sharp on a Mac, as you can see, um, using a uh, RTL dongle. Here it is. It, it is a little bit slow, but it works fine. This is the latest release number 467. Uh, let's select wide FM. I can get to save the settings so far. I don't know if this is normal. Anyway, uh, I just reset them. Okay, ready to go. Play. Do some broadcasting. Justin into a college bound young man. So you need to the king in spite so, of himself. You can see it, it works fine. Here's comic opera about a hapless 16th century oh, let's, French let's novel. Try some, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, the audio is not perfect yet. Now let's try some narrow band signals. Okay. Here we go. Wait. Let's take a better one. Uh, maybe we should zoom a little bit. So it works pretty fine. Uh, I don't know if this it, the program is probably better than HDSDR, but it doesn't work as good uh, as um, HDSDR does using Wine, just because it's lower. Uh, I've tried running this through the official .NET framework through Wine, but I could not have the RTL work properly uh, yet and uh, I, I said I, I did a bit of compiling simply because mono only works on 32 bits while everything that, that gets compiled on a Mac usually normally by default gets compiled for 64 bits so as long as you as soon as you recompile everything you you get running through mono. The problems are on port audio and uh, RTL SDR. SDR. The rest is all pretty much done. It took me a while though, but the result is pretty good. All right, so I'm now working on packaging this on a nice universal executable so that you can just get the package and running running it on your Mac. Alright, best 73s, K1FM, Alain in New York City. Bye bye.